Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Grandpa's Kitchen. I'm glad you could join me. Well, I found a bread recipe that I thought looked kind of interesting. They're calling it uh, breakfast bread, and I thought I would give it a shot. And if you give me a second to get set up, I'll bring you along with me. Okay, here we go. In my mixture, I've already got six cups of flour, and to that I'm going to add a half cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon and a half of yeast, active dry yeast. First I'm going to give that a little mix. And now I've got two cups plus four tablespoons of milk and seven <clears throat> excuse me, tablespoons of butter that I've warmed up a little bit. I'm gonna add that to the mix. take it out and uh, form it into a bowl, bowl. Beautiful soft dough is coming away from the side of the bowl real nicely. Oh yeah, nice soft dough. I'm going to transfer that into a grease bowl. Turn around so all sides get greased up a little. And now this is going to go to rise for about an hour. And then I'll bring you right back. All right, this dough really raised up nicely. Now it's time we're going to degas it, which is basically just push it down like that. I'm going to turn it out onto the counter. Divide it into quarters. And we're going to form <clears throat> each of these quarters into a ball. And then I'm going to cover them. And let it, just let them rest for 15, 20 minutes. And when I get that done, I will bring you right back. Okay, we're ready to go with the next step. And this is where it gets different from any bread that I've prepared in the past. We're going to roll this out just big enough 
to, <clears throat> I'm gonna make it just big enough to fill half a cookie sheet so I can get two of them on there. I've got this miniature rolling pin that I really like. First thing you do is press your glass into the center to make a ring. You don't go all the way through though. And then with your fingers, you go around the outside about an inch in <clears throat> from the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. And make a groove. Now you're going to take that glass and go around the outside edge and just kind of tip it forward and make a mark like that around the edge. Right up to that groove you made. egg yolk and a little milk that I've mixed together and we're just going to coat that So, and then we sprinkle the center part with sesame seeds. I don't think I'm going to get two on a cookie sheet. I think I'll do this in two bakings. I'll go ahead and make my other one and then they're going to go into a 325 degree oven and it should take between 25 and 30 minutes. I'll bring you back when I get a couple of them done. Okay, there they are all done. I'm really pleased with this recipe. I like how these turned out. Uh, I'm gonna uh, do a little taste test here. They're actually meant to be kind of a tear apart bread, so that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Okay. It's very soft and it's kind of buttery and a little bit sweet. 
I expected it to be a little sweet because it has some sugar in it. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'll probably do this recipe again. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you'll come along again next time. And I'll see you then. <laughs>